Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Steph here, I'm the secret slob and it's snowing here today. So anyways, this is zone cleaning for beginners and we are working on zone one this week. So I have my little zone one sheet and you can see I'm kind of a third of the way through the dining room checklist of the detailed cleaning list. And so I'm just gonna carry on, but maybe you're ahead of me or maybe you're behind me. Either way, it doesn't matter because you just have to keep on heading down the list and you don't even have to finish it because next month you'll just start exactly where you left off, wherever that is. The kids are down for a nap and I got 15 minutes to do zone cleaning. So I'm gonna start right now. Set your timer, I hope you join me or get after something later today. Okay, so the next thing on my list is clean furniture and straighten drawers. I already straightened the drawers just a month ago when I did my huge decluttering, so I know those are good. So I went to start my table and I thought, oh, I'll actually start with the chairs. And as I got started with the chairs, I noticed something. They were so dirty. I have two little toddlers and they throw food all over the place. And even though I clean it up after every meal and I try to wipe the chairs down, Clearly I wasn't getting everything because there was food and paint and little muddy fingerprints on every nook and cranny of every single chair in my dining room. And so I'm just using my water vinegar spray. I love my water vinegar spray. I use it for everything, but there were some seriously crusty spots on these chairs so I did go and get my abrasive cleaner and tried to use that a little bit but I found that it wasn't really working great and I was kind of starting to worry it was going to take some of the paint off of the chairs. These are like super inexpensive chairs from Ikea. They do the trick though um, but I didn't keep using the abrasive cleaner. Instead what I started doing was just spraying the water vinegar on the chairs, letting it sit for a little while, and then going back and wiping it off. That was working good, so I just kind of stuck with that. After all, like my mom always says, basically you just gotta use a little bit of elbow grease for some of these hard jobs. And I'm really hoping that as I'm doing this, I'm doing a good enough job so next month or next time this zone comes up, I won't have to work so hard to get these chairs clean and the job only takes, you know, 30 seconds a chair instead of three minutes a chair. So three minutes a chair and six chairs, well, 18 minutes. So I guess some of them didn't take that long, but still, I was happy to be getting them done, doing a really good clean this first time so that every time after this, it won't take as long. I think dining room chairs are a, an item in your house that you know, people don't notice that they're dirty because it kind of happens gradually and you know, you're sitting on them, maybe you don't look. But I found that after I got them cleaned, they looked incredible. They looked like brand new chairs. And even though it's very subtle, it really did brighten up the dining room and make everything look just kind of new and fresh. So these are the two chairs on the end, the worst offenders, because this is where my kids sit to eat all of their meals. They sit right beside each other. They like to share their food um, and the baby chair was on one of these so it's just so bad you know they drop milk they drop yogurt they drop everything on the floor and it splashes up and all over the legs so i spent most of the time at the end of my cleaning working on these chairs so that's it for my zone cleaning today i only got the chairs cleaned in the 15 minutes that I have, but as I've mentioned, I hope that next time it won't take me so long so I can kind of power through these tasks a little faster. Either way, I got something done and the chairs looked fantastic. This last chair that I'm working on was easily the worst one of all the bunch. This is where my little baby sits. She's one and a half, so I guess not really a baby anymore, but she still doesn't have great fork control and often drops her drinks or her cereal or whatever it is that she's eating and there was tons of stuff around where her little chair was. So I gotta give this one a final scrub and then I'm all done. Okay, so I'm not gonna need to work out anymore if I keep doing <laughs> this. Um, so I just cleaned my chairs and that's it. It took me 15 minutes, but I really wanted to keep going. I really wanted to do the table or just do something else because I feel like I'm on a roll. But that's what got me in trouble last time was taking on too much. And even though, I mean, yes, sometimes it's great. If you're on a roll, 
keep going. But I'm really, really trying to train myself to just stop after 15 minutes so that I always get used to just doing that much work. So for today, I just get like a half a little check, like a little mini check. And, and you know, next month when this um, comes up again or the month after, it won't be so hard. Like I hadn't cleaned the chairs in months, if ever. So if I'm doing them once a month or every other month, it shouldn't be like the amount of work it was today. So just gotta go easy on myself. That's what I got done, but hey, that's more than I was gonna get done if I did nothing or I attempted to do everything and burnt out before I got to the chairs, which is what always happens. Um, so here's my little checklist. A little bit more progress, not a lot. Not the other day was a lot, but this is just a little bit, but hey, my chairs are looking really nice and I'm pretty proud of myself. So I hope you were able to check off at least one thing on your list today of your detailed cleaning list and you stopped after 15 minutes if that's what you're trying to do like me. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow as we finish our first week of zone cleaning in zone one. See you later. Bye.